Hey guys, welcome back to Mr. Fantastic Gaming. Here's our dear friend, Corios. Howdy, folks. <laughs> and today we're going to be teaching you how to properly hunt. First thing you need to know is how not to destroy a good carcass. So, let's find a nice, friendly... Well, the first thing we need to know is what is a good carcass. Yes. One star is not really worth going after. So we're going to find a two or higher. Just like one star is like completely worthless. So let's just find ourselves a nice, hopefully, two-star buff here. Hopefully. Some animals that are three-star are worthless. Yes. Like a three-star bird? Yeah. Worthless. Let's just find something. Doesn't really matter what we find. Uh, just, uh, can't find anything. <laughs> of course, the one time we do in the video, we can't find... Oh, here's a Canadian goose. It's three-star. <laughs> you, you literally just said all birds are worthless. I know it. I, I, and I wrecked. I, where did I wreck? Rolling down you the hill. Down the <laughs> I, I was too focused. And I lost the bird. I was just trying to show people how to figure out what to, sh what to shoot it with. So let's find a new animal. So we have the American Crow. Press RB when aiming at it. It'll tell you the that it, whether it's good, perfect, or bad. And it's a two star. Yeah, and it'll also show you what weapon to use. So a bow with small game arrows will kill this, and that's it. Now certain animals, like deer and bulls and a, a few others, will allow you to lasso them if I can find one of them. And I'll show you how to properly kill one of those with a lasso. If I can find one. This is what always what happens, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yes, deer. Okay, please tell me I can find one that's above one star, one star, okay, that's also one star, also one star, there's two over here, three star, cool, alright, so, you lasso it around the neck, like, just throwing the lasso at it, can't be too far or miss, and you gotta slowly walk up to it, and then when you get close enough, you press B. Then, now what do we do with it, now that we've killed it, and it's high quality. Well, there's two things you can do with them. Three, actually. Yeah. So you can either take it... Well, there's four. Four? Yeah, maybe you just want to eat. Yeah. You don't have to buy food in this game. You skin can just it, skin and it. And then head over to the campfire. And right? if you're going to do that, it doesn't matter if it's one star, two star, three star. It doesn't matter. Food's food. It's not going to up your cores any more, any less. Now, here's what you want to do if you want to make money off. You can head over to a butcher. If you're going to take it to a butcher, you're going to want to skin it and put all of it on. You skin it, put the skin on your horse. Pick up the body and put the body on your horse. Now, if you want to just take it to your trader and make your trader run, which is a gold, which costs 15 bars of gold, where he'll make goods and you can make a lot of money off that. You just want to take the whole carcass. Do not skin it. Pick it up, put it on the back of your horse, take it over there, and give it to him. By going into the menu, going to materials, and you'll see it there. Then, but if you want to take it to Crip, Gus, I mean, <laughs> and that's, you're going to want to skin it. You're going to take it to him, and he may or may not have something that he can craft out of what you just gave him. His stuff's pricey, and he doesn't really pay very well. So, let's take this three-star deer. Our choice is going to be, we're going to take it to camp, and we're going to show you how camp works real quick. You can also cook it. The it's only nice. thing, if when I'm doing trader, the only thing I go for is legendaries. And that's what we're talking about, legendaries in a minute. And three-star deer is bucks, you know, stuff like that. Birds are not good. Squirrels are not good. There's so much in the game that's just not good. It's like, if you're hunting for trader, I'd say just stick to deers. Yeah, I'd stick to deer. Foghorn are they're good, but they're fast. Bison, you can actually you can't. Uh, Legendaries are by far the best though, and you can get those through so, Harriet missions. We're, we'll make a video on that. We yes. got we got to show them how to do the trader with. Uh, so you with, go to your thing with legendary. Yeah, we got to make a video on that. Yeah, we'll definitely make a video. On that. Yeah, not, not at this minute. We're busy making this video. Material. Just just going to just gonna donate wall. that. Just sort of a lot of goods. See that move the bar up quite a ways. And again, legendaries move it up a lot. Like you will not hunt half as and much. legendaries, it does not matter what you kill them with, as long as it's not explosive or fire. And put them in the wagon and save them for later. A hunting wagon. Yeah. Yeah, you, you have, have to buy that through trader. Yeah. You have to have the trader, which costs fifteen bars of gold. That's actually kind of pricey, you know. So hey, right, it costs fifteen bars of gold herself. If you want to do the missions for her. And that's practically all you really need to know. Short video, but educational. Very educational. If you're a beginner to the game and you don't really understand what you should... Should you skin it? Should you not skin it? I thought 
thought you could brush up. You could be a little more uh, in depth about skinning or don't skin it. I don't think well, you covered that completely. If you skin it, it'll give you stuff. If you skin it, it's worth more if you skin it and give it to Chris and uh, uh, the butcher. I mean, you can skin it if you're going to give it to uh, camp or you'll lose goods on that. So keep it all if you're taking it to Trader. Skin it if you're taking it to the butcher and Gus. And Gus, you're going to want to have to skin it. And you have to skin it if you want to eat it. Yes, obviously. And again, stars don't matter for food, but they do matter for everything else. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, literally everything else. Everything possibly. There's a bison here. I'll actually show you. You can lasso the bison, but for some stupid reason they're glitched, and yeah. you can't kill them. So if you lasso it, get off the yeah. bison. Uh, you can kick it though, can't you? Yeah, you, you can actually but kick it. But it won't it. do anything. For just some stupid reason, you can kick it. Just, hey -ya! Hey -ya! And it'll never die. It'll and if you like, don't, well, and like in this situation, probably paint it black is your best card to use for hunting. Yes. If you don't want to use the lasso. Certain animals are only skinnable. Which, yeah. if those animals are actually worth a little bit to get. So don't be oh man, I got an unskinnable animal. You can actually take those equips. They'll be worth a little more. Hit up Emerald Ranch. At night, yes. at night you are less likely to get the cops. Bring a hunting wagon or some friends. I'll show you. And some just things. clean it out. So there's an ox that spawns like right there. All sorts of animals that spawn over here. Yeah, over here, there's a little thing. There's actually a hole in the ranch. You probably gonna want to paint them all black. Well, that's pretty much in the heartland area, most things. That's, yeah. that's what we're going to show you today. This video is getting a little lengthy. We like to keep our video short and informational. Yeah, short, sweet, informational. So, let's go. See you all next time. I hope this information has made we, your we, life easier. We got stuff to do, man. We got. We want to go hunting. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> all right. You nearly just murdered me with your horse. <laughs>